a homebrew 5 8 wave game master on a DX Commander pole. I think I'll build that. Nine centimeters. I bought some very, very cheap coax for this. It's, uh, <laughs> I think it works out at around 30 pence a meter. Um, and I don't want to use good quality stuff for, for, for playing. Um, if this uh, antennae proves to work well, then I shall invest in some good coax. Eight point six centimeters. Yeah, it's a little tricky taking the shield off the dielectric without damaging it. Uh, a bit fiddly, but you can do it. I had to resort to using the wife's scissors. I hope she doesn't mind. And that's about um, an eight millimeter gap. Then we should have 8.6 centimeters or 86 millimeters of coax shield and then we're going to solder the driven element to the shield here and cut the center off okay and then that will be the main driven element this is the, uh, the capacitor of 86 puff okay forward heat shrinked glue line glue line heat shrink hink heat shrink glue filled heat shrink whatever heat shrink with glue on it anyway
That's glue line again. There we go. Right. So what we have, coax, out of braid removed, out of braid, which is 86 millimetres long, and the driven element is connected to the outer coax, there's a shield, and the centre is isolated. Okay. Hundred twenty six point five. There. No, I'm going to make a joint. I'm going to make that three centimeters longer. Let's hope I got that right. Okay. Here comes a bit of fun. Gotta work out how to do this. Okay, so we've soldered our uh, stub on to our main coax line, um, and the stub has to be 72 centimetres long and then shorted at the end. Um, so I'm taking it at 72 from here. So let's do that.
72 centimeters. So I'll make it 73. Because we've got to have enough to shorten it. So we need a centimeter off of that. Just solder that, snip it off. <clears throat> Everything should be a dead short then. Okay, so what we have is 3.45 meters of red single core um, going into a um, capacitor uh, which is made from coax, um, which is 86 millimeters long. Um, it's soldered to the outside braid and the center is isolated. There's an eight millimeter space between the coax braid. The center core is uh, still continues. Um, and then 126 centimeters further on, there is a cut in the coax to allow the connection of a matching stub. Now, according to the instructions on the diagram at the beginning, the matching stub is supposed to be 72 centimetres long. Um, however, I didn't have the correct coax, so I put a matching stub of um, 100 centimetres. Uh, that seems to work. I formed um, a 16 turn air choke. Um, out of the uh, RG58 coax um, and I formed this uh, over the top of this ferrotan bottle which I found to be the right diameter 65 millimeters so I just turned it and then wrapped it in uh, red tape um, slipped it off and then secured it with uh, red tape going up through the middle uh, as you can see and what I'm going to do is put some hot glue here uh, just to reinforce it, perhaps with a couple of lollipop sticks. I'm not sure yet, I might just leave it as it is and just put some glue on to form it to reinforce it. But it seems to be relatively firm. So, what we've got now is our antennae, which is basically this, this choke with the lower part of the um, five eighths wave which is what this is um, for CB frequencies um, with a matching stub and then we have a capacitor uh, which is made up of the, um, of the coax and then three meters of or 3.8 meters of um, driving element so you've basically got a diapo Be so kind as to give me a one, two, three, three, four, five, so I can see what the uh, um, what it's like. It'd be appreciative. Well, it works perfectly. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs>